Thanks for tuning in to this weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is meteorologist Alex Tardy. I'm here to talk about a weather pattern change. And what this will be is monsoon flow will bring widespread tropical moisture and the potential for thunderstorms with heavy rain. Let's take a look at the details coming up this next week. We're going to see a quick return to the monsoon flow after the dry conditions this weekend. This will spread moisture into Southern California starting as early as Monday. Moisture and instability along with a weather disturbance in easterly flow from the east will expand thunderstorms on Tuesday and possibly right into Wednesday. Monsoon moisture lingers all week actually and at least an isolated threat for thunderstorms in the mountains through the week. Another surge of moisture is possible next weekend. Thunderstorms will be capable, and this is important, of heavy rain with locally up to an inch and a half of rain. A lot of that rainfall could occur in a very short time of an hour or less. Flash floods in these type of conditions are possible along with debris flows on the recent burn scars. Here's the outlook. These are the threats for the week. You can see the mountains have the most significant threat, the best chance for thunderstorms with heavy rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. But we also have isolated threat of thunderstorms in the valleys and across all the deserts. Also note, we do expect a slight warming trend as we go through the week and the moisture doesn't really go away continuing that threat for thunderstorms, at least over the mountains. And then maybe an increase in moisture again next weekend. What's causing this? Well, strong upper level high pressure system to our north is going to start to shift. On Monday, we see this flow that has been out of the west and southwest turn to the southeast and that'll draw moisture in from Baja and Mexico shown with that arrow. A disturbance will also be cutting through Northern California. Now when we get into Tuesday, that disturbance in Northern California is gone. Upper level high pressure starts to breathe again and expand. And we have a weak disturbance off of the California coast coming up from the south. That'll bring in the easterly and southeasterly flow on Tuesday. So deep, rich monsoon moisture spreading to the coast. Strong upper level high pressure or ridge sometimes called will develop this week from Thursday through Saturday and anchor itself right over the Great Basin. This will keep on Thursday a monsoonal southeast flow over our region so a lot of the moisture will still hang around. As the high pressure gets stronger late in the week it develops an easterly flow keeping that moisture in place over Southern California. Here's a look at our first increase in thunderstorms on Tuesday and Wednesday. Storms that form over the mountains and in the deserts will travel from east to west in that easterly flow. We don't expect the flow to be strong either, so some of these storms could be slow moving and produce really heavy rain. By the way, there's a view of the debris flow that occurred on July 30th on Highway 38 off the El Dorado fire when about an inch of rain occurred in an hour. Here's the estimate of rainfall. Keyword is estimate. The nature of a thunderstorm is very localized heavy rain, sometimes only five miles wide in diameter. So a lot of this rainfall you see depicted here will fall in a very short time frame of about an hour when those locations have thunderstorms. But to give you a general idea, those are the areas most prone to the locally heavy rain. It includes some parts of the valleys and the deserts for Tuesday and Wednesday. Here are the brief highlights. Monsoon flow returns on Monday. Moisture increases and expands on Tuesday. We think the best chance of thunderstorms this week is Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, storms will be moving from east to west, especially on Tuesday into early Wednesday. The moisture lingers through the week, doesn't go away, 
So at least isolated threat of thunderstorms through the week over the mountains. We are looking at isolated thunderstorms capable of heavy rain. That's locally heavy rain that could produce flash flooding and even a debris flow over a recent fire scar. We encourage you, if you have trouble following the alerts during monsoon activity, check out the links on your screen here. There's a new GIS viewer, and there's also a link to look at current weather and rainfall in real time. For the latest on watches, warnings, and advisories, you must visit weather.gov San Diego. And of course, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and this is posted on YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Be safe. During the monsoon, when flooded, turn around, don't drown.